if you could create the ideal anti-reflection coating, what would it be? I'm trying to look for the underlying principle here. And so that's what this little bit is about. For example, if I have a germanium substrate at index four and air at index one, that little formula I showed you, the square root, says the best quarter wave layer I could put down would be the square root of one times four is four, the square root of which is two. So a quarter wave of index two will be a perfect AR for one wavelength and one angle. Simple enough. Now, I could have a two-layer solution. And with the same kind of algebra, you could probably work out what indices these have to be to give me a good coating. And then I could go to a three-layer and similar things and four and five. But if I look at this, the one layer on a scale, now this is a wave number scale, I would go from some long wavelength or low frequency. This is long wavelength end. I would go from there, but that one layer coating is going to be a V coat on this expanded scale. So I don't, uh, I don't see much but a V coat. But if I go to two layers, potentially, I can broaden that out. And three layers, broader. And as I'll show you, I can keep making it broader and broader with more layers. So here's up to seven layers. And you can see that single layer is here. And that's a quarter wave thick. But as I go more and more, I find this is growing. And in fact, this gets out to be more like a half wave overall thickness of this coating even though in one case it adds up to about uh, seven, seven layers. And as I look at that sp uh, curve, ideally if I went to an infinite number of layers, it would have a shape like this. That is the ideal broadband anti-reflection coating. That is a inhomogeneous function because the index of refraction is changing with thickness all the way down to an index of refraction one, the medium. 